Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, big news today, breaking news. We're going to get into it. Huge news. Canelo and Jamal Chalo. Who wins that fight? September 16th. It's official. It's official, official. Uh, but before we get into that breakdown, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. All right, y'all, let's get into today's show. So we are finally getting this fight. I, I, I never thought this fight was going to happen. Um, and I, I want to ask you, Mexican, uh, I think, uh, yes, Me- Mexican Independence Day. Charlo Canelo. Is Canelo ducking Benavides? It's a better fight than Charlo. You know, um, he's undisputed at 68. Charlo hasn't fought in two years. Benavides just came off with a plan. Is this a duck of Charlo? Let me know. I mean, is this a duck of Benavides? Is fighting Charlo a duck of Benavides? Um, so let's get back to uh, Charlo. He hasn't fought since June of uh, 2021, just over two years, when he beat Juan Montiel. Um, before that, in 2020, he beat Sergey uh, Dervinchenko. And that's all he's done in almost four years. That gets you a shot at Canelo. Look, I, I, I think Charlo wins this fight, and we're going to get into that. But that's what gets you a fight with the biggest name in the sport, that massive payday. Guys, it's it's iffy. It's iffy. It's real iffy. Um, all right. As for the fight, I guess I showed my hands. I think Charlo wins. Um, I'm going to go out on a ledge. Um, if I was a gambling man, which I'm not, I, I would bet heavy on Charlo. I haven't seen the odds yet. Um, but I, I got a feeling about this. I, I want to get into this. Canelo, I'm not saying Canelo is shot. Uh, I'm saying this is stylistically a really bad fight for him. Canelo's past his prime. <clears throat> when I say Canelo's past his prime, I, that doesn't mean Canelo sucks. If I say uh, LeBron James or Kevin Durant, or Chris Paul, or past their primes, doesn't mean they suck. they're still better than most players. They're just not as good. Or Steph Curry, I should say. Kevin Durant really hasn't faded. Steph Curry or, or LeBron James, they're still very good players, right? But they're just not what they once were. Uh, if Canelo was what he was in 2018, he would have, or 2019, we would have gotten Ryder out. Um, he wouldn't have struggled with, Canelo, uh, with, with Golovkin the way that he did. Um he wouldn't have gotten beat down like Bavall, right? And and, and and we've seen the slow fade. Caleb Plant was his last fight of greatness. Um, you know, I, I don't think he's a bum, but I, I think that the blueprint is out there. And I think, honestly, Charlo does what Bavall, Bavall does, but more better. Not just better, more better. You know, I, I think he's... He got as much power, probably more power. All right. He's got a longer reach than Bavall. He's got the same uh, height as Bavall. I think he's actually an inch taller than Bavall. So he's going to execute the same plan. He's going to keep firing the jab and he's going to keep uh, Canelo from walking in. What we've seen with Saunders and, and, and Caleb Plant and, and, and those guys try to run from Canelo, they try to be off the back foot, which is the worst possible game plan. I've been said that, and, and we saw what Bavall was able to do to him. Um, Bavall kept him going backwards, had him against the ropes. The game plan, the blueprint is out there, um, and I, I think Charlo executes the same game plan. 
He's just as crafty. Look how educated his jab is. Look how he jabs on a half beat. Look how he plays with distances, right? Like Charlo is a, an extremely high IQ fighter that can keep you off balance. His flaw is he can be hit. I think he's fixed that, right? He's very hittable. We don't know because he hasn't been in the ring in two years. But I would say um, his last two performances, and we're going back to 2021 and 2020. It's been a while. Or his two best performances in a while. That's a good sign. The bad news is he's coming off his best two performances and then takes two years off. He's allowed to keep his belt. I don't know what that's about. Right? Um, Canelo's got to be able to get inside and get inside consistently um, on him. Now, I think he's just a step slower and not exactly what he was. If this fight was three years ago, I'm taking Canelo. It's not. This fight's right now. I'm taking Charlo. Um, my my biggest question is, it, look, Charlo's going to be in shape. He's going to be in shape. Is he going to be sharp? He's been out of the ring two years. He's in Houston. He's going to get world-class sparring. It's not exactly the same. My only hesitation in picking Charlo, and I'm, and I'm picking Charlo, is that Charlo is going to be not sharp. Right, that's my one concern. Um, assuming that's not the case, and again, he's got an extremely high boxing IQ. He uses his jab. He's the quintessential boxing puncher. I think he does everything Bavol does and does it better. He's a better athlete. He's bigger, uh, you know, taller. He's got a longer reach, more power. I believe, although you know, we can debate that. But that is such a good fight, right? Him and Bavol are so even, and I, I think that the blueprint is out there. Um, the blueprint on, on Canelo is, is out there. And I, I think it's just a matter of executing it for Charlo. And I think Charlo gets this win. Now, what does that do for Canelo? Um, assuming um, Charlo wins, which um, Canelo's going to uh, – they would rematch. Um, I, I don't think – we're going to find out. This was a rumor to be in Minute Maid Park, which is where the Houston Astro plays, obviously in Houston. Um, I don't think they're going to put it there. I think he's going to be in Vegas. If Charlo wins, which I'm pre predicting he was, obviously they'll rematch. Um, and they'll fight in Minute Maid Park. That's my prediction for that. I think this is a huge, huge, huge pay-per-view number. I think this is massive. I think this is huge. I, I think this is as good as it gets. Um, this is a massive, massive fight. I'm looking forward to it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, Canal's game plan is simple. He's got to get inside. He's got to break Charlo down. He's got to not go backwards. He's got to be able to work his way on the inside, hit him in the arms, hit him in the body, just break him down. Um, it's it's going to be interesting, right? Because um, Charlo is better than John Ryder. He's better than this version of Triple G. I think he's better than Bavol. And, and, and <sighs> it's going to be a tough fight for Canelo. It's going to be tough. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Um, leave your predictions. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, that's not – oh, that's Jamal. Jamal's over there. You can't see him. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes in to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Um, uh, yeah, it is June 22nd, uh, 2023 from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless.